Hello everybody, this is Darren Gang 996 of Group DTune and today I'm going to teach you some more uh, basic stuff in Autodesk Inventor and um, today's tutorial will discuss the revolve function so uh, let's get started yep, same as ever, slow computer Alright, so I'm going to create a new part, would be standard millimeter. Uh, waiting for that to load. Come on, hurry up. Alright, so as usual, uh, we create a sketch. Use whatever plane you see fit. Uh, project geometry X Y. Keep this easy. And um, yeah. So revolutions or the revolve feature. Um, not that difficult to use. Uh, basically, what you do is you create a, a, par a piece for your part. Um, uh, one fourth of the uh, original part that you need to draw. Keep in mind though that it's uh, practically only meant to uh, be used for uh, round uh, parts or shapes that are um, leaning more to the round. So, um, what we're going to create is a little pommel for, I don't know. Dagger, sword, whatever. Dimensions, very important. Uh, 15. The height would be around. Ah, uh, crap. The height would be. I think 20. Uh, plus. Then we got them of thirty. Um, the width to this would be thirty as well. Oh, that's not good. Thirty, no, thirty-seven. Actually, no, big twenty. Mm. I hate this. Twenty-five. Yes, finally. Alright, instead of using the uh, default extrude function, we're gonna pick obviously the uh, revolve function. So, f first off, you're going to select the uh, parts that you've drawn that you want to revolve, in this case, everything, and then we're going to select the axis function and pick the axis you wish to revolve around. So, um, for this pommel to look as a pommel, we need the y axis, and that would give us this. So, keep in mind, this is a full rotation. Uh, you can just uh, uh, put in a custom angle uh, or one of these other functions, but for this, we're gonna take a full revolve and we're gonna press OK. So, there it is. A uh, basic pummel for sword, dagger, uh, something like that. And well, a pummel won't be very effective if you don't got a hole in it. So, uh, as we did with the uh, extrude function, we will do the same. We're going to create a sketch. Nope, not on that plane. We're not. Uh, Select the XY and I'm gonna create a sketch on that. Now, as you can see, we selected a, we selected a plane to draw on and it's dead center in our piece. Now, um, to fix the uh, view problem, we're gonna take a uh, other visual style and in this case, we're gonna take the wireframe. And there you go, we can see through it. Um, back to 
the sketch tab we're going to uh, project our geometry again and I'll take the XY oh, could have simply used um, Y axis but defaults. Okay, so what I was doing now was um, simply uh, projecting the uh, edges of my uh, pommel so makes uh, way easier to work with and um, we will have this auto uh, snap to grid uh, style so it will automatically uh, snap in the uh, edges that we've now projected so let's say we want a hole in the pommel of around 15 millimeters then we need to divide it by two which would give us seven and a half millimeters uh, finish sketch there we go uh, I'm gonna revolve select that piece make sure to use the uh, cut function and select the y-axis again and there we go we've created a hole in our um, pommel this is uh, one way to do it uh, yeah, like usual um, you can also use the hole feature which um, makes it way easier to do so and saves a lot of time simply draw dots and um, extrude um, another thing you can do is uh, uh, yes save the changes console pro give me a new part yes create um, what you can also do is uh, create the hole instantly during the, your uh, initial revolve so um, show you what I mean by that uh, again project geometry x y rectangle um, yeah about the same walk <coughs> Mentions uh, fifteen. To make the hole, you can instantly add a rectangle to it with a dimension of a thickness of seven and a half. <laughs> Nailed it! Oh uh, no, <sighs> failed it. Seven and a half. Uh, finish the sketch. Revolve, and simply well, well there we go again simple hey alright we're gonna fix this same problem as with the uh, last extrusion it won't do what I say gonna trim this away this away this 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 as well this this and dimensions again seven and a half it's good Height should be fixed, no props. Why won't it do so? Damn it. What's wrong here? Hmm. Anyways, we're going to continue like this. Um, green line mean green lines basically mean that it's not fully constrained, so um oh bloody hell no escape. Uh so it could give problems if we uh try to use this file in a um, assembly. Again using the axes and there we go. 
we got the same pummel as before see exactly the same um yeah as you've noticed this is a very easy uh, part to make you can make it as simple or as complex as you want to uh, basic thing you need to do is simply change the sketch make it half of your original sketch and um, simply revolve <laughs> that's it <laughs> so there's not much to it um, although sometimes it can get complicated with more um, difficult uh, parts if you need to create some more difficult parts um, so yeah that was uh, it for this tutorial uh, I'm gonna save all these projects Pummel V1 don't forget to like, comment and uh, subscribe for more of these tutorial videos it is my intention to um, create some more advanced tutorial videos but in order um, to create these uh, projects that I will be making you need to have a rather solid um, foundation to work on so that would wrap it up for this tutorial I'll see you next time and peace